So Project Habu is about the Blackbird family of aircraft. There are 30 surviving Blackbird airframes on Earth, and I'm trying to photograph all of them. We needed the Blackbird aircraft so we could take a picture of anywhere on the surface of the Earth at any point in time that we wanted to, and then get it to the intelligence people in the government within a few hours. Spy planes before the Blackbird had a, a big problem. They were vulnerable to surface-to-air missiles. They could be shot down. You couldn't overfly Russia or China during the Cold War with impunity, and the Blackbird offered just that. I recently talked to a buddy of mine, Ray. He was an electrician on uh, the SR-71. He actually wired the aircraft by hand. And I told him how I was photographing all of the uh, Blackbird aircraft. And he goes, oh, they're all the same. Yeah. And, and, and maybe they all look the same, but uh, they're not the same to me. There are several names for the Blackbird aircraft. One of them is Habu. Native people on the island of Okinawa were familiar with a snake over there, a black hatter. It's a pit viper, and it's one of the most deadly snakes in the world. It's more deadly than we, any snake on North America. That snake, the habu, was a symbol of death among the native people on Okinawa. When the Blackbird was stationed at Kadena Air Base, these native people saw it flying in the sky, and they, they looked up and they said, habu, because the shape of the aircraft is similar to the shape of the head of that snake. Blackbird was designed in the 50s, manufactured in the 60s, and uh, they still couldn't figure out how to shoot it down in the 90s, which is pretty cool. <laughs>
and there's never going to be anything like